We begin with a dangerous crime popping up in Johnson County. Uh, tonight, police are trying to figure out who is shooting marbles at homes and even vehicles. The Now's Mike Pelton takes a look at the damage done so far and the mistake that investigators hope those suspects make very soon. Sitting at the table playing cards with my wife and another couple, and we heard a real loud pop sound. Which Greenwood resident Daniel Duffer later discovered was the result of a small yet fast-flying marble Saturday night. My best guess would be that they were trying to shoot the light here and just missed. With the marble launching itself a few feet from a glass window, he called the sheriff. I mean, my biggest concern would have been that maybe it went through the window and somebody would have gotten cut on the glass or that it, it really would have damaged some stuff inside or hit one of the kids. And Greenwood police have a similar case. Here near County Line Road and State Road 135, they say someone apparently used a slingshot and marble to shoot out a car's back window. It's probably a slingshot, probably some juveniles or, you know, young adults out misbehaving. Greenwood police are working with the Johnson County Sheriff's Department to see if the same person or people are involved in each case with the hope they slip up soon. Look on Facebook, kids talk when they're out doing this. Um, hopefully somebody's friend of a friend will report that kids are out doing this. Daniel says while it might be kids having what they think is fun, that cheap and tiny marble comes at a major cost. But apparently they do not make my siding anymore um, and the color match they can't do. So I'm going to have to potentially replace all the siding along the house. And that's going to get, you know, I've heard ranges of, you know, seven to $14,000. He doesn't have a lot of patience for the slingshot bandit. Police, meanwhile, don't have any suspects. In Greenwood, Mike Pelton for the Now Indy.